Hey everyone, welcome back to Magic Farm 3, episode 5. Since last episode, made my way back over to the little hole in the wall we made earlier on, and I did manage to gather all the things that I had left set up over there. Uh, I've kind of cleaned up a little bit, organized things a little bit better, and unfortunately, I tried sleeping a few times, and apparently I'm not tired. I don't know why, but I would, I definitely would like to sleep right now. <laughs> That would be very nice, but unfortunately, it looks like I'm gonna have to stay awake over this this night, I guess. So, all right, let's go ahead and place down some torches, get every place lit up. I've done a little bit of expanding around the area so far, and I wouldn't mind actually picking this up. I really don't need this here anymore. Um, eventually, I do want to set this up to be a nice looking platform. I don't really want cobblestone being underneath me. Uh, preferably something like wood or eh, maybe we'll find something else a little bit nicer later on but uh, we got all of our stencil tables and our tinkers tables and all that good stuff let's sit down our tool forge and one of the things I'm gonna do I'm gonna put my other tool station away because we won't be needing that uh, out at the moment so we'll put our part builder down there pattern chest next to it that way we can access it from our part builder itself nice and stencil table here on the side, everything's looking great. I like it, I like it a lot. Oops, actually I see a few more spots we need to light up real quick back here. There we go, that looks better. Sweet. So hopefully we don't have to worry too much about mobs coming after us. All right, and I also definitely need to, I know, I'm sorry, I'm getting paranoid. I definitely need to get started working on some sort of small farm now. Thankfully, we got a lot of water around, so we don't have to worry too much about our crops not being, uh, you know, well, um, what's the word I'm looking for? My blinds, my, my blinds, my, my mind's going blank. Everything's getting grounded together. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right, anyways, let's do something that uh, our mind could probably comprehend. Let's make ourselves some copper. So with that, we should be able to now complete our next quest, Copper Age. So we got ourselves one copper ingot. Once again, you need to make a better tool. After iron comes copper. Copper can mine tin, coal, and nether quartz. So for this, we get a ball of moss, which would be super nice to have. And we can choose from having chicken and butter. Now, from my experience, both of those go well together, period. And I, I do have a little bit of uh, chicken already. So we'll just go with the actual butter for now. Because, well, don't have any of that at the moment. So... Uh, let's put this in a food chest. I have been collecting some foods along the way. I've done a little bit of exploring out, you know, out in the distance. Not too far away, but maybe about to that uh, great wood tree right out there in the distance. Uh, picked up some more stalks because I am getting a little low on food at the moment. So, um, pretty much all I've got is these meats. <laughs> and they're not helping me very much. I definitely need to get some better uh, foods in my diet like... I think we need vegetables. I think they're set out into groups now. So we have like a fruit, a vegetable group. Uh, see, yeah, they're food group, fruit. And they all, like if you eat something from the fruit group, it counts for all fruits. So we're going to have to kind of vary things up quite a lot. We got some eggplants there, cucumbers, um, all this good stuff. Definitely need to get that up and running. So... That's on the agenda for today, at least. Let's see what's on the next quest. Real quick, though, Bronze Age. Actually, we can do this, and I would not mind doing that. Rewards a copper chest plate. No, thank you. Let's make some Tinker's Alloy. I believe it's one tin and three copper. We got a whole bunch of um, copper in there already. Let's grab... Let's just do one. We'll do one tin. We'll let that do its thing. In the meantime, let's get ourselves ready some more stencils. All right, so I want to, for one, make a nice new weapon and something that I haven't made before as an actual weapon. I want to make myself a scythe. I think this would be a really cool weapon to have. So for this, we're going to need two tough bind or tough tool rods. We're going to need a tough binding and a scythe head. So there we go, our scythe head pattern. We need one tough rod pattern and one tough binding. So we'll get these set up. We need some cowl. There we go, shift click, we got all that, sweet, I love that. I I'm going to probably be using these around, in fact, well, let's see what other drawers we actually have. Oh, <gasps> they have upgrades! Upgrade template? Wait, what do you mean upgrade template? What is that? Oak drawer. Okay, I'm going to have to try this, I'm sorry, detour! <laughs> Taking a small detour. Alright, so we did also, I did at least, cut a little bit more wood down. 
between episodes. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a little bit of this, piece of that. And with this, we should be able to... Cr wait, what? No. Please tell me you can use dark oak. Thank you. <gasps> dark oak drawer. <laughs> I love that. It looks so awesome. Holds 32 stacks per drawer. That's pretty nice to have, actually. I'm guessing this only holds one item. Let's try it. Cobblestone. I have to say I like it. I like that a lot. All right, so if we take this, surround it with sticks. I gotta learn this. This is cool. I like this a lot. All right, let's get eight sticks and surround our drawer with that. And that gives us two upgrade templates. What, do this, what does this do? Okay, obviously we don't want to do that one. <laughs> Can we shift right click these on there somehow? How do you work? Upgrade templates. Do we have to combine them somehow, maybe? In our inventory? Question mark? All right, let's get another chest. Let's make one more drawer. Okay. What if we combine those together? All right, let's check out uses on this. Uses. Oh, okay, I see. So now, okay, we can use this to make a storage upgrade. Oh, that is cool. What is it? Increases to 13 times base value, and this one is show full st shows full storage. Ooh. Okay, I'm really going to like this. This is actually really nice. Definitely going to be using this. All right. No time to waste. we got to get the farm up and running. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I apologize. I got sidetracked a little bit. All right. We'll just pop that up there for now. All right. We got our cobblestone. Let's get our patterns ready. We should have everything set up to go in here. Did we get some bronze? We did. Eight bronze. Ready to go. All right. Pattern ready. Scythe head. We need cobblestone. So it's going to take eight to make that guy. So three for you and probably the same for you. Three for you. All right. So these we need to get our aluminum brass down on the bottom so we can make our casts. Boop, boop, boop. Not really sure what I want to make this out of. I got a lot of iron in there. Got a little bit of copper. Maybe some bronze for some of these might be kind of nice. In fact, where is my book at anyway? Kind of wanted to... Re oh, man, I did leave it back there. Ah, darn it. That stinks. That's okay. We don't need it. Um, I could make one, I think. Pretty sure I got... Uh, we do have a little bit of leather. And... Where's my sugar cane? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it was, like, hiding from me. So, sugar cane to make our paper, to get our book. Wait, where's my book? Oh, I, there's my book. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, let's get one blank pattern at, and if we lose our book, we can combine this with our book on the other side. Why are you not making? Did it change a little bit? Question mark. Hold on a minute. I know it's around here somewhere. Oh, it's a, oh, it's not a book. It's a piece of paper. Whoops. <laughs> and I feel like an even bigger derp now. Whoopsie. There we go. There's materials in use. So if we leave that and uh, put that back in our crafting square, we can get volume two and so forth. So let's take a look. We got materials. Now the scythe is pretty awesome. I'll talk about that more in just a minute. So a bone, obsidian, lumite. Lumite might be kind of nice to get to at some point, but I know we don't have access to obsidian at the moment. All right, so bronze. Bronze attack level. 1.5 hearts, so is steel, and I think that's not bad. Where's iron at for attack? Oops, I think I passed it. There we go. Iron is also at 1.5. It has a mining speed of 9, while bronze is at 7.5. Now, I believe another way we could do this is, say, for instance, we want a scythe head. Can we right-click on these? Right-click. Ah, there we go. That'd make things a lot easier. So, um, bronze scythe head, handle modifiers, 1.25, which would be very nice. Mining speed is 7.5. Mining level of redstone, attack 1.5, and it gives us reinforced 1. Uh, so, if we do iron, think I'm going to stick with bronze on this one. We'll do bronze. All right, so we got our, our patterns here. 
let's get in this and set up a bronze scythe head. Now we do have our pickaxe, which I'm also going to upgrade. And we should be able to also upgrade our matic with just our axe head cast. So let's get a little bit more bronze. Wait, what? <gasps> what? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Darn it. All right, that's okay. We got 110. Let's place this in here, and that should give us a little bit more. That uh, scythe head, <laughs> that took up eight. So, yeah, derp there. Uh, let's see. Let's use the tough binding and make us a... Hmm. Do we want to use a tough binding? We could make paper. Paper would be cool. Paper might give us an extra modifier at some point. Or even now. <laughs> um, and for that, we would need... I believe we need paper stacks. Let's just double check real quick. Let's put you in there. Get you... Whoops. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. I said you. I want it, Well, I meant you. All right, let's put that in there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to need paper stacks. So for that, that gives us two. We need one more of those. So I am going to have to use up most of my sugar cane if I want paper, which looks like I'm doing anyway. So, <gasps> no, hold on. Darn it. <laughs> I should have looked first. Material plastic. I want to do plastic. Plastic sounds cool. All right, so unfortunately, paper's kind of useless. Can I not use this for anything else? <laughs> Drat. Should have looked at that first. Pro tip to you guys. Look first. <laughs> All right, so bronze. Uh, let's set up our pickaxe head. Boop. There we go. We'll get our axe head ready afterwards. Get some bronze going on that. And let's get these guys upgraded. So I'm going to need a little bit of iron to fully repair our pickaxe. I'm going to need a little bit of flint to repair my mattock, which we can actually do in our inventory, which I've been doing. And... For now, I'm just going to do it here. This is fine. So there we go. We get our iron pickaxe. Upgrade it to... Where's my... There it is. There we go. Bronze. Mining level of bronze. We still got one modifier remaining. That works for me. So let's get our manic upgraded. Sweet. Like it. Look. Wait, what? No. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, I need to upgrade these handles as well. Should really look into doing this while we are... Yeah, definitely. All right, so while we have full durability, let's put our aluminum brass back at the bottom. Let's make ourselves a stone tool rod. Let's put this back over here, and we'll just get that made up for later. We'll use that other one. All right, so you. All right, so our aluminum brass is at the bottom like we want. Still got a little bit left in there, which is nice. I also like the fact that this, this version is, like, destroying the stone version of our, uh, that we pour our casts around, because I hate having all that extra stone laying around. It's just so bothersome. That's where the trash hand comes in handy very well. All right, so our bronze has a modifier, I think, for a handle, like 1.5. Let's take a look. Where's bronze? Handle modifier of 1.25, whereas iron is at 1.2. Is there any other material that we have access to that would be more helpful than that? It looks like probably no. Nickel. Nickel would be nice, but I don't I don't I don't know if I can do that just yet. Ooh. Terra Steel Scythe Head? Mana Steel? What? Yes, please. Alright, definitely gonna have to try that soon. All right, bronze it is, though. We need to upgrade these things. All right, so this should cost half an ingot worth for each uh, actual tool rod. So that should only cost us one ingot. Let's upgrade our our pickaxe one first. So that gives us a little bit better durability. Not by much, but, you know, it's better than nothing. It's better than what we did have, at least. All right, so we got all these. Let's put all that away. We don't need those anymore. We need to start working on our scythe. We need a weapon. All right, so we got our scythe head. Let me grab a little bit of food. We need two tool rods, which we can make out of pretty much anything we want. And then we need also the binding. So I'm probably just going to mix it up a little bit. Maybe do an iron handle. No, actually bronze. would. Do we have enough bronze? We have enough bronze for one handle. So we'll do one handle out of bronze. We'll do the other one out of iron. I think that'll work. Alright, let's pull the iron down, and then we'll make the binding out of 
Seems like we can't make it out of anything else. We'll just make it out of iron for now. Oop, there you go. Do your job. All right, and then after this, is there any, was there anything else? Nope, that was it. Okay. Let's see. Scythe is here. Tough binding. Put you there, bronze, and then bronze scythe head. Oh, yeah, that actually, hold on, let's swap those out. That looks pretty cool. I like that. Mining level of redstone, 7.5, nearly 1,500 durability, and if we want to, we can give this guy a name. What do I want to name you? Hmm. There we go. I think that's a pretty nice name right there. The Infernal Scythe. <laughs> I like it. All right, so let's see. Unfortunately, we don't have any modifiers, which is okay. We'll get some modifiers going on that soon enough. We do have a modifier, I think, on our pickaxe. Awesome. Let's give it a ball of moss. Hmm. <laughs> the ball of moss always looks so bad on there. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, It would be nice because that way I don't have to always make bronze. So we'll go ahead and add the modifier of um, repair onto our pickaxe. So let's go ahead and put you away. Let's put our other good stuff away that we don't need at the moment. Put some of these books away. Like literally the book. Okay. And I think I'm okay now. So got torches. Good. Got a weapon. Good. Is there anything else? Hmm. I wouldn't mind making a bow at some point, but I'll do that later. Mm. Yeah, we'll do that later. All right, let's put our iron away. I want to go also think maybe make a lumber axe would like to be able to scale down trees super easy like we've already got two of these patterns ready to go we just need broadhead uh, broadhead axe pattern and the large plate pattern um do we have enough iron in there we might actually have enough iron in there to do this all right let's put you and you away put you back there and make us two of you Loop. And I'm going to go ahead and get these casts made. I'm going to pour this all completely out of iron. And then when I get that finished, I'll meet you guys back here in just a minute. And thanks to my beautiful girlfriend, she gave me a nice name for our Broadaxe Axe of the Lands. I like it. There we go. So let's go chop us down a nice tree, why don't we? In fact, wouldn't mind having myself a little bit of great wood. But I really, really, I'm really getting hungry. I got to get some food in my belly. Let's get some seeds going. I got, we got some melon seeds, pumpkin seeds, regular seeds, which would not be a bad idea. Let's take a look into our quest book real fast. Tinker's Alloy, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Tinker's Alloy? Final tool level we are going to cover individually is bronze. I probably should pull some bronze out of here just so that we can complete this quest. So there we go. We should get Tinker's Alloy. No, that's actually bronze. Is that going to work? Oh, sweet. That does work. Nice. Ooh, cheddar cheese or smoothie. Smoothie does sound very good because I'm not a really big fan of cheddar myself. Smoothie it is. Press shift. Hunger restored 8. Saturation given 20. Are you, are you being serious right now? That does not. <laughs> it does not. <laughs> Ah, oh, you got my hopes up there for a minute. How do we make a smoothie anyway? Is there an actual way to... Huh. Guess there's no actual way to craft that? Ooh, that tastes delicious. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. All right. What about this? Are we doing better on these now? Eh, not doing too bad. Could probably do for some more, but that's okay. Uh, chicken? Do I have chicken in there? Ah, yeah, I got chicken in there already. Ah, drat. All right, let's get some dirt down and maybe a little bit more stone. Thinking maybe setting up a nice little farm off this side. Maybe? Question mark? Or out the back. Out the back might be kind of nice. Yes, let's do that. All right, so we'll center ourselves up a little bit. Let's make our way back this way just a little bit more. Need to probably turn that off. And then we'll set this up. Might have to come down a block. I'm not sure. We should be okay just hovering above like this. Uh, but seeing as how we do need to light up the area, let's just go ahead and do that. All right, let's see how well this actually works. We'll set up one farm maybe on the left side, and we'll have one on the right as well. 
So we'll make this for now just a little bit of a pathway. Do, 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 do. Need more stone. Definitely need more stone. Let's see. Um, Give me an entire stack. Give me some charcoal. Let's get 16. Let's get... Let's get two stacks of cobblestone going. One, you, and one for you. There we go. All right, and then we'll start off on this side with a little, do we want to do like a three by three? Maybe a five by five, like small garden. Probably gonna need to go get some more dirt for this too. Yeah, gonna need some more dirt for sure. Um, Might have some in our bag here. Yep, there we go, perfect. See, I knew there was a good reason to have that bag. There we go. Not looking too bad myself, if I say so myself. <laughs> All right, how's our stone? Just need a little bit more for you, and boom. All right, kind of want to give it a nice little outline too, that way we got, um, well, oh, darn it. <laughs> now, <laughs> you're messing everything up. <sighs> Fine. Guys, it's just not my day. <laughs> it's really not. I'm trying. I'm really trying. Don't worry. We'll get this done, though. I, I am determined for this. I'm going to get some sort of outline going and farm, for that matter. All right, so hopefully this farm should be saturated, seeing how we are one block away from water. So let's right-click with our manic. Please tell me you're going to start saturating. All right, it's not, but not the end of the world. Can fix that, no problem. We do have a bucket of lava. I'm gonna put this in our smeltery because we could utilize that. Um, we could lower this one more and put it in the water, but I kind of like it being above. It's just me. So maybe that's five. We could just do something like this. Pop that there, and then just put that like so. That might get us to out here, at least. Then what I could do is just pop this guy over here and just do the same thing. Wouldn't be the end of the world. Um, all right, let's get some more torches. We don't have to worry about mobs showing up on our back doorstep. There we go, and we'll turn that off for now. All right, so we got our farm going. Let's get some seeds. So we got. Oh, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's right. We have to use the agri-craft stuff. The crop sticks. So I gotta place these down first, I believe. So it takes two? I think two if you want to crossbreed. I believe. So we'll do a line here. And we'll plant some regular seeds. Do we have any bone meal? Please tell me I have killed enough stuff to give me some bones. Okay, sweet. Hold on a minute. What about fertilizer? Do we have any sort of fertilizer? Fertilizer, concentrated compound. All right, let's go back, hold on. All right, if I can find some appetite, that would be great, but I don't know if we'll be able to find any. So that, pretty sure bone meal is our other option. And the only place I'm guessing we're going to get that's probably bones. Yeah. Could do a um, pulverizer. Pulverizer would probably help. But in the meantime, I need food, so eh, too bad. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, make me all of the wheat. Please, and right-click on them. We'll harvest without worrying about breaking your crops. So can we convert these back into seeds? We can. That's what I wanted to see. Right, we'll get a nice line going here. One more should do it. There we go. Now, Agricraft. I believe there's a lot of stuff we can do in Agricraft. And I believe there's even a book. And I'm pretty sure we're also going to need the seed analyzer, which looks pretty easy to make. We just need some sort of uh, pain. Um, oh, it's even got a sprinkler. Definitely going to have to look at that. Okay, so Agricraft Journal. We're going to need crop sticks. Four types of seed and a book and quill. All right, thankfully, we do have a book that we mistakenly craft earlier on. Not a problem there. We do have a feather, and I might have to go diving for some squid. Do I have... Where are the squid anyway? Shouldn't there be some squid around here somewhere? Squid! Squiddies! 
Where's Arja? There's no squid around. Why are there no squid around? That's weird. I had like a whole flock or Google of them earlier. Yes, I called it Google of squids. Sue me. Um, let's get ourselves some wood. I need some more, some more dark oak. We're looking too much. We got too much stone out there. We need some. We need some more dark oak. Yes, I love you so much. My 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 acts of the lands are so great to me. Oh yes, all of the wood. Can't wait to go mining with a hammer. We'll have to get a hammer made at some point soon. Oh, but this is so nice. What kind of attack damage do we have? Four? Eh, not the best thing in the world, but it's okay. All right, so how much we got? <laughs> Over two stacks of wood. I'm happy with this. All right, sun's going down. Got our scythe, infernal scythe. I would love to try this out. Fortunately, it does a pretty good job on the trees. We do get ourselves a little bit of basal doing this. I wouldn't mind trying on, like, some mobs or something. <gasps> Squid! Squid, yes! Squid is good. Squid is great. And the fact that squid might be a good thing. We could go fishing! Guys, we can go fishing. Alright, we're doing this. Come here, squids. Squids aren't gonna attack me, are they? Please tell me squids aren't gonna attack me. <laughs> that would not be good. So, um, the nice thing about scythes is they have an AoE effect. If they're close enough. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, whew. Barely made that one. Uh, so if they're close enough together, they should all take damage, which is really, really nice. In fact, I think that's gonna have to do it, because, uh, it's getting dark. I need to head back. We need to get back over here without dying. We could use our little waterfall there. That'd be a good way to get ourselves back up there. So I think I'll save this for next episode, for sure. We need to get a few more crops up and going, so let me go ahead and finish populating our farm here. Some more crops, and I'll meet you guys back in just a second to finish up. All right, guys, unfortunately, gonna have to finish off here for today, but before we go, I do want to make one last item. And if I'm not mistaken, we should... Oh, darn. <laughs> I left it over there in our little hole in the wall, so I'm gonna have to unfortunately make myself another bowl. I do want to make with my last piece of bone meal a watering can from Extra Utilities, one of my favorite items, especially on uh, farm based packs like this. So we have ourselves our watering can, right click on any water source that'll fill our watering can, and hopefully. <gasps> okay, I was gonna say, whew. I hope it works. A shift right click on the crop sticks should allow these guys to grow a little bit faster. Hopefully, I would like that to happen. That would be very nice. Please tell me that works. This seed can is not yet analyzed. This plant is fertile and can grow. All right, I don't know if the actual, uh, I don't know if the actual watering can's helping much, but if it does, that'd be great. If not, that's okay. Um, hopefully next episode we can take a look into a little bit more of the agriculture and see what we can do with maybe like breeding specializations and stuff. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. If you guys would rate the video, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you guys then. Goodbye. <laughs>